What's up guys? Today we're going to be watching Ahsoka episode 6, which I'm so excited for because today is the day. We are bringing Ezra Bridger home, just like it says there in the sign. I called it last week, so I'm going to call it again this week because we are on episode 6. We cannot go a single episode longer without him or I will be on the steps of Lucasfilm with this sign demanding that we bring him home. It's about time. I even have my Ezra hoodie on. I even got my very own Ezra shirt because he looks great here. I think we can all agree Ezra is a very gorgeous guy. So um, without any further ado, let's watch the episode and either I will scream and go to sleep happy or I will cry. So we'll see which one it is. Here we go. <laughs> I'm skipping the recap. I'm just too hyped. Like too hyped. We were hoping you I hear the purples. We're traveling in style. Colors. It's like a rainbow. Intergalactic travel within flare. a star whale. I still have those stories in my archive memory. Would you like to hear one? If we end up getting a show of that in like ten years, I wouldn't be surprised. Perhaps a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. You said it. I sleep. I wake up and my legs are just like. Somebody give her some spray paint. I was hoping for a room with a view. You find your situation confining? A bit. I would think this would be an opportunity for reflection. I try to avoid that. I can understand why. She's so Sabine. That is a cool hallway. Love the gold. The soundtrack kind of sounds like the Dial of Destiny one. It's a little weird. Like, it's just a little, little bit close to Helena's theme. That is terrific. My people were among the first to harness and ride the creatures in the days before time was counted. The whales came here to die. Okay. That's good. Really, uh, I was scared that they're gonna go to this like weird, wacky alternate universe galaxy, but it seems like it's pretty much um, a part of the one that we know. They've got such a rivalry going on. I love it. Like Sabine's attitude intrigues in at the same time as it angers her. Why can I already see this ship as like the mini 10 piece Lego figure that they're gonna make of it? Oh my gosh. Night Sisters! They look so insane. They're so creepy. But also their costumes are amazing. Like, look at that bright red color. It's so saturated and, like, crimson. Welcome, child of Dathomir. You do our ancestors credit. I Thank you, great mother. 
this you heard uh, echoey voice you is, and like the whispers. It's so scary. Your visions guided me across the stars. But they're so good. Witches. Long have we waited for you. And you came as Thrawn promised. Where is Thrawn? You crazy. shall wait. He is coming. Man. It reeks of Jedi. It is dangerous. It's like she has enough power to get found out, but she can't even do anything with it. It will wait in solitude. Oh, it's like ropes. I thought they were like burning a small hey, hole through her. Where is Ezra? Where is he? She's asking all the right questions. Well, she's gonna be right here in the cell. So let me finally bring this cycle to an end. And the beginning is here. It's like true because there was the corrupt Senate. And then, of course, the they got defeated by the Empire, and then the rebels rise up against the Empire, and then they win and they install this stinky new republic that nobody likes just for the First Order to defeat them, and then for Rey to defeat the First Order. I'm curious to see if they're eventually Rey's gonna, or whatever Empire she creates is gonna, too, so... It's like he's not wrong, but also you shouldn't. Thrawn is not the answer. So maybe she should get her handcuffs off first. Because if she opens the door, then she still has her hands all tied. Sabine is like the opposite of a Mary Sue. She has the moment where you think she's just gonna it's gonna come to her. And it doesn't come to her. I think we're gonna get a good moment in the finale with her doing it. Like, finally, she's gonna move something. I'm glad that we really had to wait for it because it makes you so invested in her and you're rooting for her. Wait, it's a lost wolf. We're gonna see Thrawn. He's coming. This is it. We're gonna see Thrawn. Waiting for this for years. What is that? That better not be Ezra. That better not be him. But it also, like, at the same time, kind of looks like the robot thing in Hugo. Which that whole design just kind of freaks me out. But look at his boots. Yeah, if that's Ezra, I'm gonna be so mad. So good. Oh my gosh. What was first just a dream has become a frightening reality for those who may oppose us. It's just perfect. I never it's him. The Grand Admiral. Then you must be General Balan Skull of the Jedi Order. It's so drawn. He Jedi knows everybody. Long ago. The prisoner is Sabine Wren. Now there's a familiar name. You're quite right. She'd be of great use to us. That's crazy. People who didn't watch Rebels, like, don't know her past with Thrawn at all. Oh, man. I can't wait to see their interaction. It's going to be so good. Thrawn. What a delight it is after so long to see a familiar face. She's so done. I understand it is you I have to thank for my escape from exile. Where is Ezra? Ah, yes. The desire to be reunited with your long lost friend. Friend. How that singular foe. If you survived, I'm sure he's doing just fine. <laughs> You've gambled the fate of your galaxy. 
want that relief. It's so scary. You can understand. What kind of ride you got around here? Like, do you have an iPod so I can listen to Iggy Car? Because I will take a reprise. Nomads wander this wasteland and prey upon each other for survival. Here are your weapons. The voice, the voicing they're doing to the helmet, and like he's the one Die giving her her well. weapons. If that's him. It can't be him. Ezra would never. He's on a fool's errand. Indeed. You may follow her at your own pace. Yes. And if she does, oh. you and your master will destroy them both. Oh, so it's not the gold guy. That's good. That would have been so bad. I've always hated the theory that Ezra like became a Sith and he's like with Thrawn. That's just so not him. It makes more sense that he'd just run away and become a hermit. That was cool. That was cool. Ow. Ow. I hit myself on the head with a lightsaber today. It was not fun. And that's me. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is the this is the behind the scenes uh, choreography video I saw. This is what it was for. Oh yeah. Yeah. She did it. You abandoned me. Should have known you were a coward. Why is this so funny? They're so Moana and Hey Hey coded. Okay. Fine. It's like a puppy. Well, friend, this is your world. You got something? He smells Azra's blueberry cologne. We're gonna find him. You were thirsty. Is that it? Well, he's gonna be by somewhere where there's water. Now what? So they're probably getting close. Hey. What? <laughs> what is that? Okay, yeah, that trick's over. Get up, come on, I can see you there. It's a little crab. Oh my gosh. No, it He's just a little you. guy. Oh, he knows the you like sign. This? He knows him. Oh my gosh. Ezra, do, do you do you know Ezra? Like the trolls in Frozen. It's so Disney princess. But I love it. It's perfect because he's space Aladdin. Do you know Ezra Bridger? He's my friend. You know him. You've seen him. He did good. Come on.
this is it. I love them. Ugly baby! Music sounds almost like Pixar like. Does anyone else agree? I love it. It's so cute. Like, because they're so miniature, it just makes it so cute. I knew I could count on you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Though, it sure took you long enough. Well, you didn't exactly tell any of us where you were going. That's because oh, I didn't know so where I was going. Ezra. Typical. Always a plan. Never a good one. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Didn't it? He's here. It worked. <laughs> Okay. I thought they were kissing, but it's fine. <laughs> it's so cute. I see my friends found you. Yeah. Your very own band of rebels. I have so many questions. You're riding a hound. How'd that happen? In fact, how did you find me? How did you get here? Let's not talk about that. Not right now. Sabine. Hey. Mm -hmm. I just want to be happy. His that blue I found eyes. You. Oh my gosh. After all this time, can I have that? Of course. Dicky, dicky, what, what? It's all everybody Ola! wants for them. Ola! Come on. We never stay in one place for very long. Let's help them pack up. Real. Thanks for coming. And, uh, Can't wait to go home. Oh my gosh, he's going home. I can't. Oh my gosh. It happened. It happened. <sighs> I can't even comprehend anything else anymore. That's just that's too much. They ride travelers. What? Could it be the reason to deceased Sogatani? Impossible. Ezra. I thought it was beyond you. Tanda. I want to know her background, history. Home world, her master, everything. Yes, granddad. If a star away, how does he not already know that? Destroyed with prejudice. Great mothers, I shall once again be part of your dark magic. The thread of destiny demands it. It's gonna get dark.
Jennifer Getzinger. She gets it. We want Ezra. And we got Ezra. That is so crazy. I don't see anything wrong at all with that episode. It was so good. I mean, the way it lit up to us seeing him, they gave you that bit of doubt where I thought he was bad for a second with that random gold guy that they were focusing on for no reason. But now I see it was misdirection. Um, Ezra and Sabine have the perfect chemistry in live action. It's not forced at all. It's so good. The casting, obviously, amazing. I just love, 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 love Natasha as Sabine. She's so perfect for it. Just down to every single facial expression she makes, just the, the way she delivers her lines. It's just so clearly Sabine. And Iman, I always knew he looked and sounded just like a perfect Ezra. So seeing him, you know, fulfill all the body language and all that, and that hug, I mean, I just gotta say, like, he did great. He's perfect. So good, Iman. Wow. I cannot believe it. And the hug. Star Wars Rebels fans around the world are probably freaking out right now. I know I am. It's like I'm so tired, but I'm not going to even be able to sleep tonight because of that. That was a good episode. That was amazing. We brought him home. Well, we're bringing him home. I don't know what else to say. I just love it so much. And I know I'm just kind of tired right now, but tomorrow I will be screaming about it. I'm not even kidding. It is so good. Amazing. Just when you think the last episode can't get topped, it does. And the show is not even over. Honestly, it's so good right there. It's like... It, it could end there, but I don't want it to at all. Like, don't get me wrong. I do not want it to end. I do not want this show to end. I need Rebels to go on till I'm 80 years old. I don't care. I'm invested in Sabine and Ezra. They didn't kiss at all. But I think, I think there's still potential. I think it's fine that we gave them time. Um, but definitely not sibling relationship. I don't buy that. The fact that we're going to get Hera and Jason reunited with Ezra is so crazy. And Zeb too. I cannot wait for them. They have the best dynamic. The sad thing is no Kanan. Jason's going to meet Ezra, guys. That, that is so perfect. I cannot wait for that. Also, just got to mention Shin and Balin. It's really great to see how the greater powers are turning on them. You never trust Thrawn. Never align yourself with him. It's not a good idea. You're never in control if Thrawn is. So, really great how they're really sticking to Thrawn being such a good powerful villain. I love how they're sticking with him being into knowing everything about a person in order to analyze their weaknesses. We're gonna see how he does it with Ahsoka. It's gonna be crazy. I just really love the approach they had on the new galaxy. Um, it wasn't anything bizarre. It was just classic Dothamirian culture. So the little turtles are so cute. Um, his little band of rebels. I love that. Um, I'm going to be watching that scene over and over again. I cannot wait for the edits. So definitely send them to me. Send me, spam me with edits, please. I will consume them. That's all I've got for tonight. Thank you so much for watching my reaction. Um, let me know what your reaction was. Did you cry? Did you scream? I'm a little dehydrated or else I probably would have cried. I'm not kidding. I cried internally because Rebels is my childhood and Sabine and Ezra are my childhood. I just gotta mention, Ezra leaning on that uh, house thing was so him just the lean I love it I love it 10 out of 10 um, performance from Amon so good
thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video so make sure to subscribe if you want to see my next reaction and all the other ahsoka content i have coming out tomorrow my sabine patches for her jacket arrive so my whole sabine cosplay video is going to come out very very soon so make sure you subscribe bye I can't